welcome to my YouTube channel. For anyone that is new here, my name is Sophie and every Thursday we talk about marketing and things to help your small business. Now today we're talking about how to grow your confidence on video as I feel like a lot of people struggle with this and I've had recently a lot of people saying to me, how are you so confident on video? And I didn't start like that. <laughs> so let's get started. <laughs> Posting pictures on the ground. I started off saying that sometimes video isn't for everyone. Um, I videoed people in the past um, that just freeze the minute the camera's on them, which sometimes is natural and you can overcome it. But sometimes people are better at maybe written word or they'll be better at podcasts. See, I find video easier um, where written word isn't my strongest point. Um, so you'll find things that you might be better at podcasts, you might be better at video, you might be better at written word, um, you may be better at all of them, but don't feel like if you can't get the knack of video, don't feel bad about yourself because sometimes it's not for everyone. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to start the video saying about that. But most of the time, the thing that is holding people back from video marketing is fear. Now, everyone has it and it is very hard to get over, I'm not gonna lie. But especially with social media, it's the fear of getting judged as you are putting yourself out there in front of the world and anyone can see it. So I think fear holds people back most of the time. Now, you can overcome it by mentally just thinking, right, if I wanna get to this point in my business, in my life or my YouTube channel, then I'm going to have to overcome this fear to get there and people are gonna judge, it's, it is just what people do. Um, majority of the time, I mean, I've been quite lucky, I've had a lot of people that have been really helpful, really lovely and really supportive on my page, um, but you are, obviously the bigger you grow, you are gonna get people that might leave nasty comments. Um, I feel like I'm being really like rock bottom with this, but it may happen and you just have to mentally kind of prepare yourself for it and then I feel like then when it does happen, it's a lot easier. But it's natural. It's natural to be scared of people judging you, of what people are going to say. Um, but then pe people's opinions, people that would judge, their opinion doesn't matter, in my opinion. <laughs> um, so yeah, don't be scared. I know that's so easier said than done. But I've had a lot of people recently say to me, well, how are you so confident on video? And it, I'm not. <laughs> Basically, I'm not. I do suffer with anxiety myself, so before a video, I will be like, oh no, what, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna say? Um, so it is completely natural, but we're gonna overcome that. So, to start off with, I want you to practice. It is the best way to get comfortable so you don't freeze in front of the camera, and it is a bit unnatural. It does feel weird talking to a screen to yourself in a room. It does seem weird at first, but the way to do it and how I done it that helped me so much is just by practicing. So I would set myself a subject each week. Um, if you could do it a few times a week, be good. But yeah, set yourself a subject each week just to talk about. It doesn't have to be long, just a couple minutes. And just literally, it's not gonna go anywhere, but just practice being on camera. So just set record on your, on your room and just talk about the subject. Something that you feel passionate about and you know a lot about and then just talk about it. Now, that video isn't gonna go anywhere to start with. It is literally just to get yourself comfortable with being around camera because when you are first starting out doing video marketing of yourself, it can be really nerve wracking and getting your camera out and videoing yourself, it's not natural. So that is probably one of my biggest tips is just to practice that way. And then the only thing I would say is don't hold off too long before you do post your first video. Cause sometimes when you overthink it, then you delay it and delay it and delay it. So sometimes it's good just to do this a few times and then just get your video out there. And as I said, I know it's easier said than done, but once you've done a few, you will naturally just get better at it and you will like proceed with just doing it. Now, don't be afraid of failing. Now your first videos aren't going to be, well they might be, but then probably not gonna be the best that they're ever gonna be because you're new at it and no one starts as a professional. So I really wanted just to get across in this video is just to get out there and to do it. Now video marketing is kind of taking over marketing. It is a really quick way and brilliant way to expand your business. So that's why I push it a lot in my videos is just do it, just do it. But I do understand that you can be scared. But if the first videos isn't the best, you just, you'll just grow from it. So 
don't be too afraid and I think that's my biggest message is getting over that fear um, and there is a lot of motiva motivational speakers that I listen to that help me so much with this subject because especially with my anxiety I did suffer a lot with it like being like oh what are people gonna say what are people gonna think um, so I'll drop that down below of people that I watch that definitely just help me mentally get okay I'm gonna do this um, but yeah I hope this helped I'm gonna link also below some apps that I use that are really um, helpful now one of them is called teleprompter I know it's on Apple I'm not sure if it's on um, Android but there's probably other things that are similar now the only thing I would say with this is sometimes you can become a bit robotic in a way because you're reading it so basically what it will do is when you hit record it will scroll kind of like a script now it works really well um, if you can't really think of what you're going to say and you keep freezing then it does work well to just bullet point points so it's coming up on the screen so you can keep looking at the screen you're not looking down or being like uh what am i going to say now it is really good but i w wouldn't recommend i mean it might be better for you but i wouldn't recommend writing it word to word because i find sometimes then you lose the enthusiasm of what you're talking about and you don't seem as natural so it's definitely a good app to start off with but i wouldn't recommend writing it word from word because yeah i just i just feel you lose kind of enthusiasm you'll see if you use the app which I'll link below you'll see what I mean with it but yeah that definitely helped me when I was starting out on video but yeah I hope this video has helped it probably <laughs> probably just rambling on but I hope it's helped and stay tuned for next Thursday for next marketing tips bye